Can an automated audio production service produce a high-quality audio file while saving you time? Let's put it to the test. Hank here for Free Podcast Tools. When it comes to podcasting, I can't tell you how many hours I've spent in post-production. I'm not talking about cutting out all the unwanted parts. What I'm talking about is actually noise removal, leveling speech, stuff like that. So what I'm going to do in this video is I am going to drop my audio files that I want to use into an automated service called Auphonic. They've been around for years and they are highly touted. And I'm also going to drop my files into my audio editing software and run it through the plugins that I typically run it through. And I'm going to compare the time and I'm going to compare the sound quality. And I'll give you my honest take on how I think it plays out. So let me switch over to Auphonic and get that set up. So far it took me under 60 seconds, so exactly 55 seconds, to upload each of the files. That includes track one, track two, the intro, and the outro. Now on here I've got selected filtering, noise, and hum. Uh, I'll do filtering, noise, and hum reduction on both of them. And then overall, it has adaptive leveler, an adaptive noise gate, and then a cross gate, which is going to analyze which speaker is active and decrease crosstalk, spill, or ambience, reverb, and noise recorded from other tracks. The target is 16 LUFS. That's what I target for my podcast. Some people do negative 14 LUFS. So I am going to restart my timer, and then I am going to see how long this process takes. When it came to Auphonic, it took 55 seconds for me to get things set up on that main page that I showed you. Then it took under four minutes to upload the files, and under two minutes to process the files and spit me out an MP3 file for a grand total of six minutes, 11 seconds. Now I'm going to go into Adobe Audition and see how my process looks in there. When it came to Adobe Audition and my process, it took me under two minutes to get files in place, the where I wanted them and how I wanted them. And then it took just over five minutes to process the file the way I do it for a grand total of seven minutes, 10 seconds. And keep in mind that with Auphonic, once you have the files in place, you can get up and walk away. They send you an email message letting you know once the process has been completed. Now, I can get up and walk away when I'm using Adobe Audition as I have the plugins going, but after it processes that, it's not going to do anything else. I'm still going to convert from WAVE to MP3, so I have to come back to the computer. But the real test is, what do the files sound like? I'm going to play each file and I'm going to give you my honest take. I think I slightly like the one I produce better, but it is so minute that you can't even tell hardly. Um, it just could be bias on my part. All right, future Hank here. That guy was in career-saving mode, so he was blathering on and on about this, that, and the other. So I had to step in since I'm the brains of the operation. I sent them to six of my friends. I got five responses. Two professional voiceover artists, one engineer, a podcaster, and a DJ. So two of the five said they couldn't tell a difference whatsoever. They thought I sent them the exact same file. However, the other three said the files sounded almost identical. But when push comes to shove, that they would pick uh -huh. off on it. <clears throat> they would pick the file that wasn't mine. So there you have it. Three for Auphonic. I got zero votes, but there were two votes that said the files were identical. But just keep in mind, does Auphonic have these? Does Auphonic reach 150 countries around the world spanning six continents? So on the screen now, I've put up the Auphonic pricing. As you can see, this is extremely reasonable. 
even back in 2009, when I was doing audio editing for a living, I was charging at least at minimum $2 per minute. So if you sent me a 30 minute file, you were paying me $60. And that was back in 2009. So Today's prices, if you look around the web, are very expensive for people to produce a podcast. And most times they don't want to do a lot of editing of the spoken word. They just want to produce it. But with the advent of the Roadcaster Pro 1 and 2 and Mixcast 4 and Zoom P4 and P8 and devices like that with sound pads, you can almost go live to tape. We come very close on my podcast network where I have almost no editing whatsoever. So if you can do that and you can process it through Alphonic and especially at these cheap prices, it's pretty much a no brainer. And what is really cool, if you look at the screen, you can have incoming and outgoing file transfers. So FTP, SFTP, Dropbox, Google Drive, OneDrive, Amazon S3, S3 Storage, Archive.org, WebDAV, Google Cloud, Zapier. Plus, you could connect to YouTube, Libsyn, Spreaker, Blueberry, Facebook, SoundCloud, Captivate, Podbean. And if you think about just the simple stuff that you sometimes have to do that Alphonic automates, that could save you more time than you can imagine at a fraction of the cost of hiring an editor as much as it pains me to say that. I've already signed up for an account, and if you're interested in signing up for Allphonic, please use my affiliate link down below in the description. I really think Allphonic is a time saver, and they have been in the podcast community for quite some time. So if the ears of my friends is any indicator, Allphonic does as good a job on post-production as I do. Lots more videos coming to the channel soon. As always, thank you.